Hello, welcome to Sunset Studios. Today we are going to make a beautiful sun. Okay, and I did it in two different shades of yellow with one with a blue background and one just with white. So I thought we would start with this nice big flat stone. It's smooth, but it's not that smooth. It doesn't need to be perfectly smooth. And I am going to start with a nice big circle. I want to keep in mind that I am going to have the rays of sun, so I don't want to take up too much space with my circle. And then I'm going to do a circle right around the original circle I did so that I can do a different color in that little space. And then I'm just going to go around and make the triangles of the sun. Okay, and even if they sort of go off the rock, that's okay. Just get them in as best you can. This is a really easy design, but it's somehow just a nice happy design too. Okay, so my design is drawn and now I'm going to get my paint ready. Okay, so my paint is poured and I'm going to try to make this one look a little bit different than the other two. So I'm gonna start with this paler yellow color for the face. One of, this one I did a bright yellow and my blue one I did more of an orange yellow. So I think it's fun to just change it up a little bit. And again, you can do whatever colors you like and whatever you have on hand. It's always nice if you don't have to go out and buy anything. You can even mix a couple of colors together to get a shade that you like. Okay, almost done with my first coat. Just gonna go back right over that line. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my brush, dry it with my paper towel, and then and go on and do the next shade, which I think I will do the darker orange right around it. Now I could have chosen a red to do around it or a pale orange, you know, it's just completely up to you. I just know with spring coming, it's fun to have some lighthearted and just fun designs. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm gonna clean my brush. And my next step is to do the rays, which I'm gonna do a very light orange for that. It's the same orange I used on the blue one for the face. And I'm just gonna go right around and fill in all my triangles. Now, what do you do with all your rocks that you paint? Or you might be wondering, what do I do with all of mine? Well, that's a great question. I mostly, I like to walk around my neighborhood and drop, um, put a rock in front of somebody's mailbox on the ground. And it's very often somebody I don't know. And I just feel like that's kind of fun for the person to find a, a rock and Sometimes they take the rock inside because I don't see it the next day, or I see it, you know, in a planter in their front yard. So that's a really fun thing to do. Another thing you can do is if you're walking on a nature trail, you can leave a rock and somebody might take it or just might enjoy seeing it. Okay, so that's that. 
And then, of course, the other things I do with my racks is I give them away lots and lots. And then sometimes I even sell them. Just depends. Okay, I'm going to put another coat and I'll be back. Okay, my next step is to use my paint pen. And I'm going to, I always use the side that's got the point um, versus the other side of the pen, which has a different shape. So basically, I'm just gonna go right around my circle to highlight the shapes. And as I've said before, I feel like it makes the design pop. And this is very imperfect. So I like that. I like the almost childlike quality of it. I think it adds to the fun of the design. So I don't worry too much if, you know, my lines aren't perfectly straight or if some of the orange is sticking out of the line, it's fine. And you have to remember the rock is a little bumpy, so it's pretty hard to get it perfect. Okay, making progress. And this one, it really goes around the edge of the rock. So I'm just gonna do my best. I'm not even gonna make the point because it goes off the rock. So you can't even see that. Okay, one more. Okay. So now my next decision is, do I want the rock to be this way or do I like it better like this? I actually do like this bent part better on the top. Okay, so that's how I'm gonna hold it. And I'm going to make a nice big smiley face. And then the eyes are really close together and they just look like happy eyes. Let me just make it slightly bigger. There. Okay, now I am going to get a bright pink because I like to do the cheeks with a little bit of pink. And I'm going to, yep, I think I'm going to use, see I'm testing it out to see if I think I like the size, but I'm going to do dots right there and there. Whoops. Just to finish it off. Okay, that that's okay. And then one more. There, I like that. And then can't forget to wipe off the eraser so I don't ruin it. Okay. And then what I do is I'm gonna take my thinner paint pen just to do some of the extra lines. Now, you could be done just like that. That is awesome. But I like to do a, a few extra little lines and then I'm gonna do one longer and then two short in each of the triangles. And I don't know why, but I just like the way that ends up looking. Like I said, that's just completely up to you.
I could have done this with my thicker marker, but it's just easier with a slightly thinner. Okay, friends, that's it. The other thing I might do, which I, I did in one of my samples, is I made little circles and then dot, two dots. Oh, I'm sorry, three dots. And that's kind of cute. So I just went around, dot, dot, dot. And then I went with my paint and painted inside. And what I would do is I would take that bright pink and that is the color I would use if, if I want to do that. You could also just leave it blank. You don't even have to paint inside the big dot, or the circle, I should say. But it is kind of nice to tie the design together to use that pink again. So this is definitely a finishing touch that you don't have to do. It's optional, but it is kind of fun. And last one. And what I'll do is I'll just show you real quick how just the tiniest bit of paint inside those circles. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it like that. So that's the idea. So I will finish that up and I will be done. Thank you so much for watching and please give my video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.